Right? Like, how could you know anything if it's always change? Yeah, exactly. Because whatever you thought you knew, it's already, it's already changed. It's not that anymore. So you can't capture it. But the language, it's funny. Language kind of does this magic trick. Language, in order to have language, you, you have to have real things. You know, oh, the lady's house was on fire and then the fire trucks came. Like you have to be able to, but there's, when is, if everything's changing, what story, what story is gonna apply? Do you mean like that living is always throwing something new at you? I'm saying if your experience and like is that things are always changing, the body, the temperature, the time of day, there, there's nothing that's not changing continuously, right? Your body turns in a different direction, so that's a change. So it never repeats. And you can't tell a story. What story are you going to tell that's true about something that only ever changes? It, it's like there, but it's not there. Right? Because as soon as I say it's this, it's this, I'm too. Now, now what? Now we're, now it's an, a fresh new. Hey, Michael, once you say though that there's a, it's a story also to say that everything is changing so in other words it would be like a pointer right you're using it more as a pointer to say that everything is changing yeah yeah that's all there is is stories that's all we have is our stories i look at it more as a continuum that is just happening as opposed to change or not change, because we can say things are always changing. All right, it's hard to debate that, but as you've heard me say 3 million times before, the Sanskrit word chujan, which is uh, spontaneity loosely, that, you know, it's like the plant that's growing, right? There's a energy, it's just, it's just growing as it, and we can say that's change or, or what have you, but, I guess I resonate with this idea that there's just a continuum. It's it's we're using it's that's a point or two, of course, yeah. but it's it's just and I like change too, because I relate to that. Things are always changing, <laughs> as you said. But I think I guess the point is is that it's sort of like the Tao, right? No matter what we do to to to, de to define it, it's just it's not it's not it. Oh, 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 oh calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Sorry about that. <laughs> Michael, Michael, you're just getting so popular, man. Like everybody's finding out about you. They want to, they want to zoom on. My, my bad. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, we, you know, in case you were wondering what a zoom bomb looks like, there's a sample.
<laughs> so we, we could say that everything is changing as Michael did and we kind of agreed. And then we could also say that nothing is changing, that everything is absolutely unchanging. Still, stillness, silence, the unmoving. And there's an appearance that seems to be changing, but actually there's nothing changing. We could also say that. So we could tell each of those stories, right? Or then we could tell another story maybe that puts those together, I don't know. But as, as Alan, as you pointed out, th these are stories we're telling. And as Michael pointed out, everything is a story. So everything that is spoken here, all the, the, the noises and the words and the you know, expression is they're all it's all story and it's all pointing. It's not the thing, but it's kind of it's pointing to something that cannot be made into anything. Which is kind of why what we're doing here, sort of. So but the thing about the story, as Michael said, I think. He was pointing out that the story doesn't apply. It doesn't apply to what is. It can't, because it cannot capture the changes that are going on. Let's say it cannot, it can't get whatever there is. We could call it change, we could call it stillness. But the, the story can't capture the changing and it can't capture the stillness. All it can do is tell a story. So the stories that we're telling are always just, they're about themselves. They're stories about stories. And there's this, that all the stories are about, we could say, that all the stories are, which is, which doesn't have a story. There's no word, there's no, you know, can't, there's the, this, this, that the, the, this is, that just is what we are, <laughs> what this all is. There's no story for it, but somehow these stories are pointing. And then and then nothing, because it's already just what it is. So there's the story doesn't ever add add anything. But maybe there's a there's a person who's looking for something and looking to the story because I'm looking to something to be added to this experience, something missing, something I don't understand, something I can't quite get my handle handle on. And that story is going to fill in the missing what's missing. But that's what also that's what we're pointing to that there isn't anything missing and there isn't anything in any of these stories that's going to help the me get what it's looking for. And we can, and that can be noticed somehow. I think it's important for me to um, uh, understand that underlying stillness that is always there, that never leaves, that was there before I was born, that's there after I die. And that is totally with me all the time. And then the story appears, but it doesn't touch that stillness. And then we can kind of, I can kind of watch the story happen, but remain in that stillness. And, you know, when I have those moments where I seem to be lucky enough or aware enough that that is actually going on, that is pretty amazing. And then I can see how the story does just kind of come and go and it has nothing to attach itself to. Um, it's just, there's just no, nothing it can attach itself to. Anger, if there's no person or if you don't try to change it and don't try to anything, there's nothing it can do but just sort of go. And I guess that's what I wanted to say. Yeah, beautiful. And you said it, that stillness is already here. It's here before you were born, after you're 
born, dead, whatever, because of course, being born, Alice born, that's a story. Mm. And what we're saying is the stillness is here, regardless of all the stories, stories have nothing to do with it. This stillness is what, what is. And it doesn't have to be, you don't have to remember it. You don't have to pay, you know, there's nothing, you don't have to get to do anything because it, it, that is it always, what you are, what is. And then there's a story of Alice who needs to remember the stillness or needs to do something to be more in the stillness or something. And that's the story. Just one of the stories showing up. But stillness is what, what is already here. Yes. And no what, what, yeah. what I like about it is that I have lived a life of making myself right or wrong about my stories and really getting invested in the right and wrong. And this is saying just let the you know the stories just come up. I don't have to resist them. And it's really sweet to see there's just innocence in those stories that I don't have to struggle with them and fight with them. They're just they're they're just a whole part of this. There's no every story is innocent. Yeah, it's just innocence. Everything that shows up is innocent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't have to resist it and you don't have to let it. You don't have to allow it. There's nothing that you have to do because you, Alice and what she does, that's the story. Yes. So you don't have to do anything about a story because you're not that story. And yes, Alice, the story of Alice is the same story as ev every me. Mm -hmm. All the judgment, all the, the strong stories about what I did right and what I did wrong and what happened and that's the story of every every single me but it's it's not anything other than a story doesn't apply doesn't apply to, to this doesn't apply to you because you are this anything that isn't this is just more of the story But unless I know in that moment that this is this, I suffer from my story. Uh, and it's, yeah. yeah that's, okay. But that, Alice, that's what I'm saying. If everything, your experience, yeah, is everything is changing. Yes. Then the story really doesn't, you can't really believe the story with a straight face. If you know every, it's like having a deck of cards riffled in front of you and they're just riffling so fast that you try and make up a story about what's happening with those riffling cards that are you know, going by you. There's, it's just baloney, you know, the story and... Well, but I'll just say for the record that, I mean, it sounds, you know, what you're saying, Alice, is, sounds really good. It sounds wonderful. It sounds like, you know, there's, it's good stuff. But I will say that you don't need to know, to know, to, to know this. You said that, in, you know, unless I know, like I have this moment of knowing mm -hmm. that, that it, you know, that the stillness is here and that the story is just a story. But that it really, you don't need to know that and you, act, you, you can't know that. Nobody can know that. This does not need to be known and it can't be known, but you, but you do know it already. I mean, you, you, you know it without knowing it um, or you wouldn't be here kind of, you know, is what, what the point is. But it doesn't, you know, and, and this may be, you know, it, this may not make sense at this moment. But again, just for the record, we're not talking about anything that needs to be done or known. Not, nothing is needed. 
everything is already always this. And the I need to know is always a, a story. And that's the, you know, the repetitive cycle of, the, of, you know, what we call my life, I, you know, and all my knowledge of who, who I am and what's going on and what I need to do. And that's, you know, beautiful. It just shows up. And that, that is the me. The me experience has all of that in it. But there's no one here that that is applying to or happening to. And there's no one that needs to remember anything or know anything. But I know that, that I know that that's, that's may not click. But it will. I mean, and it does really, in some way it clicks. I don't know, does this resonate with anybody, what I'm saying? No. Um, I was just going, I was just going to say, is it, is what Alice is describing, is that, could you, could you say it was a stepping stone to? Oh, sure. Sure. I mean, all these stories we could say are stepping stones. And I mean, even, you know, well, yeah. And what I'm saying is a stepping stone. We could say that because the story is going on too. I mean, yeah, again, it's, it's not really an either or because we're not going to nail it down. It isn't really, it's not a story that is going to be, you know, true and logical and, and linearly, you know, linear. It's going to make, yeah. So yeah, because no, no. We're talking about that all the time, stepping stones. Go ahead, Michael. I was saying, because no story can contain everything. But we're continually pointing beyond the story. We're, right, we're, but but we're, just take a moment with that. What story could you possibly tell that includes everything? You were on a roll for a while talking about the divided versus the undivided. And I think that's what just really jumped out at me is that the story immediately creates separation and division as opposed to the wholeness or the, we could call it the transcendent or the, uh, the unpointable wholeness. <laughs> but I, that just hit me, you know, this is, it's, it's division. The story is a divider, no matter how good it is. And I love what Faith said, because I feel the same way. I think some things are point, pointers that resonate more deeply and sort of just move you into that spaceless space, if you will. Um, and so I, I'm, I'm all, that's why I think these meetings are great. I think these meetings are very strong, deep pointers that are, as, as Dan said, you know, moving us past the story. So anyway, I just wanted to bring up that idea of the, the divided versus the undivided. I thought that was, cause you've talked about that a lot in the past. Yeah, good. That's what exactly what we're pointing to story. And that's what makes a story a story. That's why we talk about story and we say, well, the story really isn't really this, even though it's all of this, right? So we're never going to get out of the paradox, but the story is divided. The story is words. The story is a description of something. It's a picture, but in, in, in images and words and concepts, that's, those are all divided. That's why it's called duality. That's all a dualistic world. And we're talking, we're saying, well, it's really, there's, it's non-dual. That's the this, but it's always appearing as dualistic and we're talking and I'm talking in this divided way with these divided words and this divided stories, these divided stories that we're all playing around with. That's it, that's the game. So we're never gonna figure it out, you know? It's just always, the undivided appearing as divided. And Alan, what you just said, um, this, this 
sort of the, the story of getting, I forgot what you said, but touching the spaceless, something like that, or getting, you know, connecting with the spaceless. I forgot the word you used. I forgot the uh, divided image. <laughs> spaceless space. Yeah, the spaceless space. Because spaceless space is not divided, right? That's the non-divided that we're talking about. But once we say it, it is divided, right? Yeah. And then you're talking about this stepping stone, as Faith said, to, to the spaceless space. <clears throat> and in a way, that is what we're doing. We're taking that path to, to, to where everything already is. And there's no one who can do that, no one who is doing it. So there isn't anyone who's, who's stepping on these stepping stones. And there isn't any, any, anywhere the stepping stones are leading because all of it is just this. Include, there is no person who's getting there. There's no person who needs to do anything or can do anything because this is, and I'm just gonna keep saying this and this, you know, cause that's my, my job here <laughs> um, to keep pointing to that. And it's always gonna be a story and it's always going to seem like a, a journey of some kind. And Nkosi will be here in a minute to tell us that there is no journey, right? There's no journey to that spaceless space. There, this is already the space, that's all there is. And that's what we just keep hit, hitting and saying over and over and over again. But there's also this feeling of this me and the experience of traveling, you know, getting closer to the understanding or more whatever just they, and they go they go together you know there's the appearance of a journey and a story yeah all right <laughs> so no story has ever applied It's, it's trying to describe a thing as if the thing is something outside that can be seen from an outsider perspective. Yeah. But it's, there is no outsider to see it. Exactly. But the me. It's also like, it's also like how could you use language to describe anything i mean if you hadn't ex you know i know those examples have been given before but it kind of in some ways feels like it begins and ends with that because if i'm trying to describe to you i know like an orange or whatever and you haven't seen one and you like there's it's just an impossibility and for some reason understanding wholeness or this seems so valuable or mag it's just this it's the same thing it's language trying to describe anything and everything's equal or not equal but that's language so it's just you get what i'm saying it's like it's any it, you just it's anyway <laughs> yeah no that's exactly it Jenny. i mean that's what michael is saying language doesn't apply to anything it only applies to itself, actually. It's all building stories about stories about stories about stories. <laughs> it's a self-contained universe that doesn't actually exist, except in words and concepts. But that's not real. That's not what is li what's lived. It's not what this is. There's no story for this and no words. And an experiencer experiences an idea of being something. Yeah. And then it tries to get out of its own box. It builds a, it builds a box out of language, out of ideas, out of concepts, whatever, what I know about what is going on and builds this world. And then it feels, you know, 
the world is that it's a cage. It, it feels real. It feels solid. It feels tangible. Yeah. Yeah. But it feels like it's, it's missing, missing out on something. It's outside of those, the boundaries because it's built out of my own, my own boundaries of, of my language and my knowledge. So I'm missing everything else. And, it, and that's, the, that's the suffering. So I'm, and then that's the story. The story inside the box is how, how can I get out of this? And what, how can I get knowledge? How can I know how to get out of this? And how can I do, what can I do? How, what can I control to get myself out of this jam? But it's just a story. But the prison, the prison itself, in a way, is the answer. Right. It's the question and the answer. But the questioner can never see that. Exactly. But that's why this, that can, this can never really be said. And even though we're, we're trying to tell the story of it, but it's, it's always just going to be a story. Well, I like the short story, All Is This. I have a question for anyone who wants to answer it. I was thinking about it during the week. I was thinking, do I have anything that I wanna, I wanna say in this meeting this coming week? And I wanted to ask what you've seen occur in your relationships. So for me in maybe 2010, this, these, uh, influences started to become apparent and some of them were like Alan Watts and uh, Eckhart Tolle and then later on there's some some people that maybe you never heard of but Jeb McKenna and this guy did this holographic universe series and then Nisargadatta and Ramana and so over time my relationships guys I see I see uh I see myself and all the other people in the world differently and my relationships with them have changed. I wondered how people's relationships have changed, what you've seen. Hi, Hello, 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 everyone. Awesome. Well, Thomas, maybe you can just restate the question, and because we have a new, uh, a new voice here in Kosi, maybe he, he wants to. I, mean, I don't think he heard your question. Oh, uh, hi, Kosi. Uh, hi. hi, hi, Thomas. Hi, I, I was asking generally in the group, wh what we're all, um, no one is having these experiences. And that's been a developing theme, but it has really, I got into almost like a car accident with it on Friday, like no one is having these experiences. But yet, there was work attended to today and dogs were throwing things. So there's these things at play and there's relationships. There's brothers and sisters and friends. And these people are talking about politics and such and such. And so my relationship with them has changed. How I see them and how I see myself that's a dangerous word in this group uh, has changed how I, so my relationships have changed. I've seen them change. So I wondered how people's relationships have changed. So I was asking people, how, how have you seen your relationships with others change? I would say it's like not even seeing them as of them at all anymore. 
There's no more distinction between. I'm just, that's sort of, sort of what I'm seeing also, seeing less division. Yes, there, there is no division at all. There's no division. There's just everything. So what seems to be, it may seem as if, uh, what seems to be people moving around, talking, they're just appearances in this, and they are also this. So there is no division, there's no separation. Even what seems to be an imaginary separation is also this appearing as that. So there's no real separation. It's just everything and it's beautiful. There is already no victim. There is already no individual. There is no doer already. It's not that the doer will eventually disappear as a result of this message. So the message here is that there is already no doer. The doer, what seems to be the doer, has never appeared. So how can that, which never appeared, disappear? So there's just everything here. Then, then how can there be even any discussion? Yes, it's my direct experience, what you're saying. So you try to apply words to it. Like it's just recently been my direct experience. I was talking, I was repeating my guru's message for many years and then suddenly on friday i have different now i collided with it but how can there be discussion how can there even be discussion of a doer when there's no doer <laughs> well that's the point there really can't what is this we're doing <laughs> we're going in circles there is no one here already. That's just what's happening. Well, that works for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, in my experience, I see this character seems to have trouble sometimes. And sometimes it feels pretty serious. And um, so I call uh, my friend in Kosi, and, um, and he uh, has questions. And, and there have there have just been times it's just, again, you can't use words or whatever. It, it's not like a journey, but there have been instances in that questioning that it has just disappeared. And, and there, there was only, I, I just saw everybody through my eyes. I saw in Cozy through the, the beautiful and it all, it all generates from here. So what do you do with the stories? Well, I, I still have stories and I have, as, as I'm looking at them with Nkosi, it's really helping how he's um, helping me to look at my story. So look at those stories, but I'm not gonna walk around pretending I don't have stories or judgment, or even, even though that's really the truth, but that's why I'm here to hear these things over and over again. That's, it works for me. That's the best I can do right now. I mean, there is no I, and I can go into all that stuff too and make myself crazy, but right in cozy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful already. <laughs> There, there was never not perfection, even when it appeared that way. It loves itself. Nkosi, you said that, I don't know if it was on this meeting or in another one, but that was, I would not leave me. It's hiding from itself. It would not leave me. I did not want it to leave me. I was very happy it did not leave me. Yeah. 
because there's only it. There is no you apart from it. So there's only it. No matter which shape or form it may appear to be, it's just this. So misunderstanding or understanding doesn't mean anything. Because really, who's there to understand or misunderstand? And none of it makes sense to a me, only whenever the resonance sees that there's no me, then it can seem to make sense. As long as there's a me, there will be no sense in any of it. Me sees itself as separate, so it's always looking. It thinks it can look outside of itself. Why do you think that the icons of non-duality, and for me, those are Ramana Maharshi and Nisargadatta Maharaj, and also to a very, in a very strange way, lately, UG Krishnamurti, why do you think, uh, just sticking with the first two, Ramana and, and uh, Nisargadatta, why do you think there's so much writing from them about suffering and talking about suffering? Well, I would say they was just talking about suffering, but nobody was talking about it. It's just, it's just what seems to be happening. That sounds pretty good. That's a good, that, that, that makes the most sense. <laughs> it's crazy, but it makes the most sense. Yes. Crazy only to the me though. Well, if, if they were here right now, they might say something like, well, we're really not talking about suffering. We're never talking about suffering. <clears throat> we're just talking about this. Or they may, they may say that we're talking about God because that might be a word that they would use. But it's the same thing. But the suffering thing, the story gets talked about just the same reason that we're talking about the, this, all these stories and the, some me that we're talking about, me is suffering, it's the same thing. 
So, because that's appearing. That, that mean thing, that story thing is appearing. So it's, it's talked about, but it's not, it isn't actually real. So that isn't really ever talked about. There's only just this, it's, it's talked about because there's only just this. Anyway, that's another way to tell the From story. the me standpoint, it's just nuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's just nuts. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to think anything. You're not, not only do you not have to think anything, no one has ever thought anything. Right. But there does seem to be a me standpoint, you know, that does seem to appear. So that's how it ends up getting talked about. But it's not, it's nothing. There is no me story. There's nothing. There's just this. Yeah. The me is never there. Whether there is talking about it happening or not talking about it. So the me is never there. It's a story for no one. Yes. But I think the question from Thomas is still interesting because I think a lot of the quote unquote great teachers, you know, it is a strategic pointing Right? I mean, there is strategy behind why <clears throat> the Buddha said what the Buddha said, right? There's, there's like, why is there suffering? And yeah. you know, we talk about the me in this group and suffering, but it, it, again, it feels very strategic. And so I don't know, it just, it doesn't resonate with me to say that, that that's all this and there's no me saying it because it definitely feels like there's, uh, even if they're coming from the, the the boundless, spaceless, all of this world, there's strategy there. And so, and I feel like there's advice there. So for whatever it's worth, that's my, my two cents on Thomas's question. I feel like there is strategy there. There is advice there. Well, Alan, I'll make a strategic suggestion in regard to the, what you're saying, which is, don't uh just a suggestion don't need to exclude uh the strategy and the story of strategy that's mm -hmm. that's it's all to it's all the, it's all this gotcha yep it's good I, I i think speakers like in kosi are unique in the in the fact that they aren't offering anything they're not offering a strategy that's why the constant it constantly circles back around to there is no me and there's no practice being given here or being offered i think the 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 gurus being spoken of before they offered some sort of practice i yeah, think i'm i think i'm i'm mischaracterizing ramana a lot also um since i asked the question i do know that no one has ever had a strategy uh <laughs> But I, I did mischaracterize Ramana in that when you learn about Ramana, he was mostly silence was his most mostly his method. And only if he only rarely would he talk. But I, I am interested, I am interested, I am interested in what the group has to say about about that. Uh, Nkosi's message is like. It like immediately for, is so freeing. Like you immediately are free. Like no one ever said anything. Like you're immediately. It's transcends logic and and all that. It's just. It's like. It's like steam that was in your hand that just is molecules and vapor and it's just gone and there's nothing. No more worries. Yeah, Thomas, my experience of Ramana, um, before I came to this group, I was involved with a speaker teacher who um, was of the lineage of Ramana Maharshi. And I was puzzled about how is it different, the teaching I was receiving before or the pointing I was receiving before, how is that different from what I get in this group? And 
and for what it's worth, my my feeling is that I was getting teaching about how to improve the experience of the me when I was with the Ramana lineage people, whereas here there is no me to fix up or or to stop the suffering of or whatever. It, yeah, there's nothing. So there's total freedom here. But before then, when I was in that Ramana lineage, I was still weighed down in some way by having to do something. I think a, another thing about another answer is like maybe the the thing that to me is the most useful in like why why does why does Nisargadatta say what he says and why does Ramana say what he says and why does Krishnamurti say what he says because it loves itself and it's hiding from itself. I think a lot of those teachings they sort of pacified the me but what it ended up doing was keeping the me comfortable as a me being a me and it kept it being that way this eliminates the me i would agree with that keg and that's well said for, from my experience yeah and yet yeah i was i was responding to yours faith because it i i knew exactly what you were saying yeah Yeah, me has been the only, the only difficulty. And that's only because it sees itself as something other than this. but even the seeing itself as something other is still this. If you were gonna ask a group, what are your impressions of Yuji Krishnamurti? What group would you go to? You might not go to a non-duality group because they might say there is no Yuji Krishnamurti. So what group would you go to to talk to about what, what they thought of Yuji Krishnamurti? What, what, not what they thought of him, but what what did they have any experience listening to him? And because I don't think that I think many of us, like I was doing work today, I think, or I guess I wasn't doing work today. <laughs> All right, I'm signing off. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to mute myself. <laughs> Thomas, the best group is probably your dogs. See how he said it, he's just a dog barking, right? 
Any last comments or questions before we close out this evening? Nothing is excluded. What, 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 I guess that's good for meditation. I'll meditate on it. Do you, can you elaborate at all, or is it just good like to meditate on it? On what? On nothing is excluded. <laughs> nothing is excluded. There is, there is nothing that is not included inside of this. There is no inside of it because there's no outside of it. Nothing is excluded, including exclusion. Right, right. Everything's included, including exclusion. And that, of course, cannot ever be known or understood. It would just be another puzzle for the me to figure out. But it's a good as one. long as there's a me there. And the good news is uh, the me is never there. Good news for nobody. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about a ghost. I love that good news for nobody that I watched that presentation or that presentation was watched, watching occurred. <laughs> yeah, it's not watched by the me that doesn't exist because the me would never think that it would apply to me. Anyway. Watching is happening. Thank you guys so, so much for coming. Each and every one of you, we appreciate everyone. And Kosi, thank you for coming. Everybody have a great night. Thank, Thank you, you Michael. Thanks, Thank everyone. you, guys. Thank you, Dan. Uh, Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, everybody. Have a good week.